The river's like the blood going through our veins. The river moves across country and it flows through all of the country. And there are so many creatures, human and non-human, that are dependent on the river that it's really important that we keep it well and healthy. I joined the Cooks River Valley Association because I discovered a group of people who were also interested in keeping the river alive and healthy. I think the very first thing to do is for people in the community to come out and know the river. I'd like to see people using the river by being on the river. Imagine how cool it would be to be able to paddle up the river to school in your kayak or on the weekend to have a Cooks River regatta where we all got out in our homemade boats and paddled around. But it would be wonderful if we could also sustainably fish and go back to some old practices that Wongal people used to use here. And it requires two things. It requires our governments, state and local, and our government authorities to take care of the river, but it also requires us to take some care of the river too to make sure we're keeping the water healthy. If you come down and spend time on the river and get to know it as a living and flowing entity, then you get a relationship with it. So then you, you find yourself thinking very carefully about whether you would use a plastic bottle or a plastic straw, or whether you would not just in case they ended up in the river. And you would think about planting things that all of the creatures like to be in. And you'd think about keeping your own footprint as small as possible on country.